guys, welcome to Zero Fidelity and welcome to my bonus video for the Polk Audio T50 Towers. Now the whole point of this video is to share some tips that will help you all to maximize the performance out of these speakers. So with that said, let's get right to it. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to talk to you about is placement. Now the good news is that these speakers are very easy to work with. However, like with most speakers, they tend to sound their best when you give them room to breathe. So if you can, when you get these speakers home, be sure to pull them a good foot to two feet to even three feet away from any wall boundary. And when you do that, the bass is going to clean up, the mid-range is going to clean up, and you're just going to get an overall more natural sounding presentation. Alright, so for the second tip, let's talk about positioning. So when you find the right spot for your speakers, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have the drivers facing directly out into the room. And you do that for a couple reasons. Number one, they actually throw out a pretty huge sound stage, so they don't benefit much from a lot of towing. And number two, this is usually where they sound their best. However, when it comes to audio, room acoustics, personal tastes always come into the picture. So if you want, once you have them facing directly out into the listening room, you can tow them in just a little bit and see if you like that kind of presentation better. The only thing I would recommend against is pointing the drivers directly at your ears. To me, it sounds slightly unnatural, slightly beamy, and just not as good as when you have them facing more out into the room. So with that said, let's get to the third tip. All right, guys, so this is probably the most important tip, and that is to get these speakers off the ground. All right, so you want to do this for a couple reasons. For starters, they're pretty short speakers, and ideally, when you're sitting down in your listening position, you want your ears to be in line with the tweeters. So to do that, we need to get them off the ground. And it just so happens that we want to do this anyways for sound quality reasons because these are very light speakers, and they benefit from having a solid foundation. So here's what I did. I went to a local store and ended up buying a cutting board. So this is a one and a half inch thick Acacia wood board. It cost me around 30 bucks. And all I do is I put it on the ground, I put the speaker on top of the wood, and boom, there we go. Not only does it elevate the tweeter a lot closer to where my ears are, but the sound improves dramatically. For me, the bass cleaned up, the mid-range sounds way more natural, the top end even sounds better. It's just an overall improvement. Now, if you go to cutting board route, I would say to make sure the cutting board is at least an inch thick, and I would stick to woods like acacia, maple, and bamboo, which is technically a grass, but you get the point. Anyways, this is a really good solution, especially for those of you who have carpeted flooring. Now, if you have wooden flooring, here's what I would do. I get something like this, some blocks. So you put the blocks under the speakers and you pretty much net the same effect. I tend to prefer using three blocks, but four blocks gives you greater stability. Bottom line though is once you elevate the speakers and give them a solid foundation, they tend to sound a lot better. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, peace.